All right, everybody, we are over here at 322 Flood Avenue over here in Sunnyside, and this is the surprise of the day. I don't know if I made a video, maybe I didn't, but just about last year, I think it was December 2015, I want to say this property was uh, advertised as a fixer, and this is the conversion of it, and it is uh, pretty dang impressed. It's really cool. It's Kevin Ho again, walking through Amy Quang's listing over here and uh, uh, 322 Flood. So you notice it's very warm here. You got lots of reflected sun, so it's nice. You've got the nice dark stove to retain that heat. And you're gonna see just, it's very thoughtful. It's kind of how I would do a renovation. And there's even a place to wash your fearless real estate dog, uh, Mr. Raffi, who is watching us from my car now. So you're gonna notice we've come into the entryway and then you come in and you already agreed by a nice big fireplace. They've done a tray copper ceiling, which is really nice as well. Take a look in here. So you do have your kitchen when you first come in. You've got this nice quartz uh, as well. You've got Viking appliances. You've got the uh, microwave. You've got the warmer or boiler. Oh no, it's the oven because you have this, which is nice. The marble is really great too. And take a look. You also have cute window and the black and white theme is really just well executed. Something that we've been seeing more lately. You got your wine fridge here. Oh, beautiful wood floors. And just take a look at this. Then you've got your. Hey, look at that. You've got in speak, uh, the speakers are throughout the entire house, and then you have really, really just nice glass work, and you have the stairs that go down. The nice thing I like about this is the, uh, the use of LEDs as well. So the nice thing about the rooms up here is that they each are all en suite. So, for example, this one, and this also walk, walks out to a huge deck, which we'll see in a moment. So you've got a generously sized room here, and then in here, you've got dual sinks, and you've got the full-length mirror, which is a thing I always like. You've got your shower, definitely the bolder statement with the black and the white, so black is back. You went from nickel and silver to copper to brass, now back to our basic element here of black. If you can look through there, you'll see that sort of bespeaks to see the outdoor area, which is out back there. You've got a nice built-in closet there. So we're back out here. Let me go through, this is the bathroom, half bath for a lot of people. Again, the black and white theme. It's pretty nice, I like that. Nice little marble wall as well. Frosted glass for the privacy. And this is a bedroom your master suite, I suspect. But you'll see that there's another one downstairs that would give that for the running. And here you got the, again, I like that where you have the uh, fixtures embedded into the glass. Let me see if I can turn those on right there. So you can see the floating vanity, really just well done. And then over here, you've got a great walkout. You've got a big closet right here, which is really nice. You've got this, which is a two-tiered, or well, three-tiered when you actually come to think about it, um, garden deck, outdoor area, right? For outdoor dining, you've got the bench that's built in over there. You've got the built-in kitchen, at least a built-in sink over here. You've got that intermediate level, and that goes down. And then there's another level below this. And you'll remember here, you have the room where you can walk through. Uh, I mean, the deck that goes all the way back to that room as well. Here's your closet again, so you have two rooms up here, and then we're going to see that you have two rooms, I think two, maybe more, downstairs. And one of the funniest features I've seen, uh, and one that's near and dear and close to my heart, I love this glass work by the way, is that when you come down here, you have beautiful laundry machines. But take a look, you have your own dog wash area or boot area or whatever you want to use it for but it's big enough for a big puppy like Raffi and uh, it's really just a nice uh, little touch and attention detail so you have another half bath down here and then here you've got the garage take a look at the difference that uh, translucent glass door uh, makes beautifully redone you've got a HVAC uh, and then you've also got your big water heater here the little lights for that are nice because at night time, you know, when you're, you know, not wanting to leave all the lights on or whatnot. And then here you've got lots of recessed lights. You have that view outside, so that would be really pretty and illuminated at night too. So you've got two bedrooms here. Yep, two. So you've got this one here, which is also right next to the window. So, you know, not to be left out. There's a great outdoor space here. 
Similar to upstairs, you've got a walk-in closet on this side. And then you've also got a dual vanity sink down here. Gosh, they really just really kept going. I'm not quite sure about the fixtures, but you know, that's if that's my uh, my observation, then we're doing pretty good here because you just it's very consistent, it's very nice, clean and modern. The frosted glass doors really help a lot too. And over here, going back outside, got another closet here. Got a little desk play area here, and you got one exit here, so you don't have to go through the bedroom. But let's take a look at this bedroom too. So just like upstairs, you've got direct access outdoors. And over here, which I also very much like, in the same closet size, over here you've got yet another bathroom. So how many is that? Four baths and then two half baths at least. So wow, that is a lot of uh, space. Wow. So, then we go outside because look, they dug this all out too. The stonework that they did, the investment of excavating this all out, the glass, the hardware, the metal, the lighting, the, uh, you know, the, clearly the work that they did here is pretty tremendous. It's one of the, it's my surprise of the day. And I saw something that was um, listed at 20 million today too. So, you know, that is saying a lot that it's not cookie cutter. It is thought out. It's practical, it's smart, it's really just kind of special, I think. So, yeah, 3.2 foot, way to go, way to go Amy clients, way to go. In general, I think this is just a great contribution to the neighborhood. We'll go back up again, so you can take a look at that. Take a look over here. Um, she's listed at 1545, and she's got 2,160 square feet of living. That's pretty big. It's a pretty big house for the area, but for our family, uh, you know, whether you have kids or in-laws or guests or friends or whatever, it's perfectly perfect, I guess, too. And just the thought, the detail, I mean, the little dog bath, that's my favorite thing so far. In addition to the fact that, gosh, I do like this, this set of stairs a lot, too. Um, just a pretty fantastic job. So, 322 Flood. It's on the market now, and this is Kevin Ho signing off at this really great house here in the Sunnyside.